Today, I'm going to give you three reasons why formation 5212 is the best formation of square match. What's up, everybody? Welcome again to another episode of D Soccer. And yes, you heard right. To me, 5212 is the best formation of the game. Yes, even better than 532. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Let's go. First reason, defensive midfielders are closer to your defense. As you can see right here in 5-3-2, if you don't know why I use this place in 5-3-2, just go ahead and click, not here, but here, click that uh, video you see right there in which I talk about 5-3-2. I really encourage you to watch that video before you watch this one, because in that one, you find a lot of useful tips as well to use 5-3-2. And I also did a live stream about 5-3-2 that's also in the description down below in which you can find like what was it like three hours straight playing with 532 in order to find the best strategies we can with you together in my live stream so basically what i said before the reason the first reason is because your defensive midfielders are closer to your defense and as you can see in 532 there's a, some distance here between your defense and your midfielders they're differently aligned there's three right there in a straight line but in 5212, as you can see right here, you have your two defensive midfielders a lot closer to, that, to your defense. And that is very, very, very important. Because if this play is right here, that I mean, I'm using hammers, but you can use protectors, you can use guards, you can use um, even commanders, because they are more likely to retrieve balls for your team. So if you use these players right here and they win a ball, I mean, they just, you know, tackle your opponent and they win the ball. But who's going to come get that ball? Because, you know, these players are slow and they're not going to be able to get to get that ball themselves. So that's when you have these players right here. Since they're so close to your defense, if one of your players retrieves your ball, these players right here are going to be ready to win that ball for your ball for your team. To win that ball for your team. So that is something that you need to take into account. And that's one of the reasons why this formation is better than 5-3-2. Second reason, the exchange of positions between your defense and your midfield. As you can see right here, as we talked about in recent one, these players are closer to your defense, which means that if you send any of these players to do some pressing, these midfielders right here are going to go back and take care of their position. This is very important, especially when you're facing players that use volleyball strategies. Because if you send your protector or explorer or every player you have in this position, if you send them to press forward, then this hammer is going to be right here ready for when your opponent sends across to Masamoto, to hammers, to commanders, and it's going to be a lot more likely for you to defeat that attack than if you didn't send your defender to press. And reason number three, the floating midfielder or the box-to-box -box midfielder. Here's Dane Bailey on the left hand side, Carvajal, oh Dane Bailey, what a play, he sends across to Vidal, goal! So this to me is the best reason why this formation is better than 5-3-2, because in 5-3-2 sometimes you know you have these five, five defenders right here, they get to near a goal scoring opportunity, they can send across, but what happens if your forwards are one over here, one over here, nobody's ready, nobody's uh, near goal. What are you going to do then? Well, then is when this midfielder right here takes an advantage of the situation. He's going to get to goal scoring opportunities. He's going to be able to shoot and um, he's going to be moving all over the area. And the good thing about this midfielder, especially the engine, is that he can help you win balls. But at the same time, he's always ready to strike so that's the best reason why this formation is better than 532 because in a lot of games i found that this player right here helps me score whenever i don't find a way to basically go against my opponent's defense and he is ready to strike now i'm going to briefly show you why i use these players in this formation why? so i'm going to have the producer on the left hand side you know i like players that are creative especially these creative players, once you give the ball to their feet, I mean, once you pass them straight to their feet, they're going to be able to control the ball real quick and then make sure that they create a good goal scoring opportunity for your team. On the right hand side, I'm going to have the guard 
And you can have a protector, you can have, uh, I don't know, a producer again, or an architect, an engine, like I did in 532. You can use them too, but I want to use the guard because he touches and passes the ball at once. And sometimes I need some sort of safety, you know, on that area. So that's why I'm going to, I'm going to use the guard. So if you're wondering why I'm using protectors right here, well, check out my video right here um, in which I talk about this strategy that a friend of mine from Spain gave me, David from Spain. He gave me this strategy and it's very useful. So check out that video right now. The center of my defense is going to be my captain, you know, the Prowler, you know, he's an awesome player, I love him, so that's why I'm going to use him in the, strength, in the center of my defense, you know, he's not very strong, he's not very tall, but his speed and his response can help you win a lot of balls, and also, he can tackle a lot of players without committing foul. Now, again, the midfielders, you can use different players, you can use a warrior, guard, protector, all of those are more prone to recover, to retrieve balls for your team, than hammers, but I'm gonna use hammers because they're very strong and they help me defend in the air and attack in the air as well. And you know, they pass and touch the ball at once. Now I'm gonna use the engine right here because he's to me the best player for this position because he can get to those scoring opportunities himself. You can choose to be to have a more defensive strategy and use the warrior right here because the warrior touches and passes the ball at once. But since I already have the bulldozer right here that doesn't run a lot, I wanna have the engine that does offer me that opportunity often to lose um, his marker in order to run and get to a goal scoring opportunity. Now forwards, like I said, Matsumoto, you know, if you have Matsumoto in level eight or level nine and you don't you don't use him in Arena Infinity, you're basically running against uh, actually a, a disadvantage already. So try to use Matsumoto if you can. If you don't like him, I mean, I like him sometimes. Sometimes he loses a lot of balls. So sometimes I just send him to the bench. But right now I'm gonna use him right here. And the Jet, you know, the Jet is amazing. He has uh, 1,034 goals in only 1,500 games. So he's incredible, so I can't, there's no way I can send him to the bench. So as always, let's play two games and see how this formation works. Oh, we're gonna play against Fran from Argentina. Fran is a, uh, a subscriber from my channel, so I'll give you a big shout out to Fran. He has six gold medals, what the hell is this? Okay, so one important thing I wanna point out to your um, creative players like producers, architects, Always try to pass the ball at once. Oh, wow. I mean, not pass the ball at once. I mean, pass the ball. Foul here. Excellent. Mm, Sukic, maybe. Sukic. Good. Guard. Please. What the heck are you doing now? You're supposed to touch the ball at once. Are you kidding me now? Two times already in this game. You're supposed to pass the ball at once. Very, very, very dumb by the guard. The only thing I have him in the field is because he passes the ball at once. That, that's what this game has sometimes. Sometimes things don't happen the way they're supposed to. Now this is a penalty by the protector, incredible. Everything is working out wrong in this game. Well, at least I stopped the penalty. Good by the protector here, producer here, sorry. Now hammer, oh good, a foul. Let's see if the producer can help me create something here. Let's give it to the engine in the center of the field. Good. Now the guard. Let's see if now you touch the ball at once, right? Okay. Now you are. Okay. But now you're not even sending. You're not even sending across. That's bull. Bull. Okay. Well, now I have Matsumoto here. I'm gonna send across. And the first goal. One thing about Matsumoto is that, you know, if you have him in your team and you have the possibility to send across to him, you have to do it because that's basically what he's best at, right? It doesn't mean that the only tactic you're going to have in your team is going to be sending crosses to Matsumoto. You know, it's, it's really boring if the only thing you do is having like Matsumoto on a hammer on the other side and sending crosses to them. But if you use that as another tactic for your team, then I think it may be really useful. Now here, perfect pass for the Jets. Beautiful goal by the Jets. It's not about playing volleyball. Vo volleyball is just sending crosses to your area to your uh, very tall players. You have to learn to take advantage of your forwards. If you like playing volleyball, you know, to me, is the most boring and predictable strategy that you can use. If you want to, go ahead. I mean, be my guest. But you are not fully enjoying the game. You know what I'm saying? The game is about strategy. It's about trying different tactics. It's about trying different players. 
and with volleyball it's really easy to win all you have to do is put uh, very you know tall players as forwards put very uh, fast players or smart players on the sides so they can send crosses to those fast players and that's it you know with that you can have a lot of possibilities to win are you kidding me now he has a menace in defense and the menace won against the bulldozer are you kidding me wow bulldozer now good hammer let's see if the jet can get here and send across no no what are you gonna do don't don't lose the ball okay good to that producer good by the producer nobody is ready to shoot let me see if the guard can get there on the air Ooh, okay what, the, what is, what's the guard doing what is the guard doing but you know he's gonna pass the ball to Sukic and Sukic is gonna score the first goal beautiful beautiful that's what I was saying about Sukic he's most of the times near the area and he's ready to shoot also so great here by Sukic now let's see here oh he's gonna send a ball to his forward wow <laughs> How can you explain me what happened before? It was a penalty, and this one is not a penalty. Like it's incredible. It's just incredible. My God. Let me let me give it to the hammer now. Hammer, good here. They're gonna give it to Sukic. See if he doesn't lose the ball. No, he lost it. His marker was ready, and now, ooh, very good here. Very good gameplay. But my protector won the ball again. I'm gonna give it to Sukic one more, once more. Sukic, but this time, I mean, it, it didn't work because. The ball was intercepted by one of his players. So here we go. We're still winning one nail. I have two minutes left. Excellent recovery here by the hammer. I don't know why why he what this player Marquinhos from Brazil was doing. I'm giving it to Santos. 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 The Jet is ready. The Jet is gonna get to a goal scoring opportunity. The Jet. It's gonna be a penalty for the Jet. And goal. Beautiful. So what do you think of 5212? Do you think it's better than 532? Do you think you would use a different pair of forwards instead of Bulldozer and Jet? Please answer those questions in the comments. Remember, I read and reply to every single comment you post in my channel. So thank you very much for watching my video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Remember, we have a Facebook community. The Soccer Forum is the name. Join if you haven't joined yet. Remember, we have a lot of uh, comments, a lot of posts from subscribers and people that aren't subscribed to my channel yet, but that also want to talk about score match. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, leave a like. Remember, it doesn't cost you anything and it produces a lot of motivation for me to keep on going with D Soccer. And I hope I'll see you next time. Till then.